Americans spend $15 billion last year alone on cosmetic procedures. But what if you could do it without a visit to the doctor's office and the hefty price tag that often comes with it? NBC Charlotte Morning Anchor Carolyn Brooke looks into this new crop of high-tech tools to see if they really work. From microneedling to LED glasses, at-home wrinkle fighters are flooding the market, most for less than 200 bucks. But do these types of tools really work? No, there's really no benefit uh, to those devices. Dr. Peter Capizzi of Capizzi MD in Dilwar says there's such a dramatic difference between at-home and in-office treatments, you can't even compare the two. The professional lasers, the lasers that are built to treat conditions on your skin, will be the better route to go. And even then, Dr. Capizzi admits top of the line lasers can only do so much. If you have deep wrinkles, there's even in a doctor's office, there's really no five minute treatment that's gonna wipe away 40 years of sun damage. Here's the thing, medical experts say the only procedure to get rid of wrinkles is Botox. The medication itself prevents the muscle from contracting. If you're preventing your skin from being folded, then you're not gonna see that wrinkle. It'll diminish over time. Dr. Capizzi says Botox is the foundation for anyone wanting to either pause the aging process or reverse it after the fact. And while Capizzi's practice does use lasers, he says they're almost never used without the injectable, Dr. Capizzi says, remains the best tool to turn back the clock. We don't have anything as uh, universal as Botox. That's the uh, the mainstay. That's the holy grail. Carolyn Brooke, NBC Charlotte.